Today I'm helping a viewer who asked me whether doing computer science at university would be a good enough preparation for becoming pretty technical with machine learning. Welcome to Frank's Day Unexplained. I'm a professor of computer science at Cambridge and elsewhere on this channel I said that to do machine learning seriously one needs to be fluent in the right kind of mathematics. So he asks what are the right kind of maths? To me that's primarily three areas. Linear algebra, meaning multi-dimensional vector spaces, matrices and all that kind of stuff. Calculus, particularly differential equations to see how a function of many variables reacts to changes in its inputs. And probability, including inference, Bayes theorems and all that kind of stuff. And then he asked me, can I work on the technical side of machine learning with a computer science degree instead of mathematics? Yes, provided you are fluent in these areas of mathematics. In other words, if you do a strong computer science degree that starts with serious maths as its solid foundation, like ours, then you'll be fine. But if you go into a weak computer science degree that doesn't give you this foundation, you'll probably be ill-equipped. So it depends on whether the syllabus of your chosen computer science degree includes this kind of maths to a serious enough degree. Look carefully before you jump. Then he asks, can I do a computer science degree and study the maths by myself? Well, in theory, you can learn anything you want by yourself. But in practice, some topics are much harder to acquire through self-study than others. And in my opinion, these foundational mathematical topics I just mentioned are among them. It is possible in theory, but it is unlikely in practice. It is possible to get sufficient grounding in them through a computer science degree, if the computer science degree is good and covers these topics in the first year. But it is going to be hard to compensate on your own if the computer science degree that you do does not contain sufficiently deep lecture courses on these topics. You will always be limping along throughout the rest of your studies. My general advice about university education is to plan ahead for the kind of stuff you want to do, find what the hardest part is, and take that subject at undergraduate level, where there is a lot of hand-holding. And although it may not seem like that to students at the time, you are being spoon-fed some rather easy pre-chewed material. This as opposed to having to figure things out by yourself when you are a PhD student, who by definition is someone who's supposed to be able to pick up and learn anything that's needed to get a job done. But believe me, it's a lot harder than having been pre-trained on that stuff as an undergraduate with easy teaching materials and lectures and textbooks and supervisions, exams and all those learning aids that undergraduates take for granted. Now, does this mean you should do maths first at undergraduate level and then move to machine learning as a PhD student? Well, that's another possible route with something to be said for it, but note that it may be difficult to get into a competitive PhD program in a computer science department without having acquired a sufficient background in computer science, which a math degree is unlikely to give you. And of course, in all that, there's the unsaid assumption that you want to pursue machine learning at graduate level as a researcher who invents new stuff, not just as an undergraduate who learns what's in today's textbooks, and that's it. This may or may not be what you're after, and I can't really tell from your question. Maybe you're not thinking that far ahead. But let me give you another hint. Check the most interesting undergraduate machine learning courses you can find. You know, look up on the web, in the best universities in the world. What department are they in? Are they in computer science? Are they in maths? Are they in engineering? Whatever they are. Clearly, these courses are meant to be taken by students doing a degree in that department. So that should tell you something. At least in that university, the department that hosts those machine learning courses also teaches the relevant prerequisites. If it's a computer science department, it's a computer science department with a sufficiently strong mathematical foundation. They exist, okay? Ours is one. So don't be afraid that doing computer science will not give you a sufficient preparation. Doing computer science in a computer science department with weak mathematical foundations, yes, that will not allow you to do a highly technical machine learning course as part of your degree. But that kind of university, that kind of department, probably also won't be offering a very technical machine learning course in the first place, because none of their students would be able to follow it. And if you study in such a department, then you won't be very well prepared to do technical work in machine learning even later in a master's degree elsewhere, because you will still lack those foundations. On the other hand, any place where you learn the right kind of maths, which could be in a maths degree, in an engineering degree, in a computer science degree, whatever, could prepare you to do well in a highly technical machine learning course. The advantage of going by the computer science route, and it goes without saying, in a good computer science department, is that you will do both the foundational maths and the cool machine learning stuff in the same undergraduate degree. And from then on, you can hit the ground running if you do want to specialize even further in your graduate studies, if you want to do graduate studies at all, having already acquired awareness of what the state of the art is. 
If you are seriously interested in pursuing this academic path, I recommend you have a look at the courses taught here at Cambridge by my Trinity colleague, Dr. Sean Holden, whose undergraduate lectures are also on YouTube, like mine. I'll drop a link to his channel here in the description. And if you check out his slides, you will see that near the beginning of his course, he shows you something like this. And he asks if you are able to compute those scary looking partial derivatives. And he warns you that you'd be in for a hard time if you can't. So take that as a hint to the kind of maths that you need to be fluent in. And also as a hint that people sitting in his course in their second year of computer science at Cambridge will have already been exposed to the required maths in their first year, obviously. Things will be similar in other reputable universities who offer good quality machine learning courses to undergrads. I hope this was helpful. If it was, you know what to do. Thumbs up and say fountain pen to let me know that you were here until the end. Choose your degree well and best wishes.